What's up guys, back for another video here today and today we're going to be doing a video really based on uh, is the Blazers a sleeper in the Western Conference um, going you know, to the end of the season. I'm not sure what the whole idea is, I think they might have explained it, I haven't looked at it, but I'm not sure, are they going to play any more regular season games when they continue or are they going straight in the playoffs? I feel like that's kind of you know not great for teams like the Blazers, the Pelicans, the Kings, you know, for teams that are in the hunt from hitting that eight seed um, or, you know, yeah, just to get in there. Um, if they just start the season, if they just, you know, or start the um, off seat or start the playoffs, uh, I think that's really disrespectful for the teams that are actually um, not in the playoffs that have a chance, especially even for the wet, for the East too. I'm not sure what teams are actually in contend but um, just for the purpose of, you know, for teams that want to make the playoffs, to be completely honest, I don't think we're making the playoffs, you know, or to be completely honest. Uh, but, hey, you know, let's see what they have to say. Let's check it out. DJ McCollum was in the zone last night, tying a season high with 41 points against the Magic. McCollum is averaging 33 points per game over his last six. And Portland's been without Dame in those particular games. The Trailblazers are three and a half games out of the eight spot in the West and getting healthier. So, Ramona, are we... All right, so I think this is most updated. So if you see this right now, we are the ninth seed. We have the second easiest schedule. The second easiest schedule left of this season. I'm not sure if we played any more games since this video has came out. Um, but if you look, the Grizzlies, uh, they have the toughest schedule going to the end. So this really helps out teams like the Pelicans, the Kings, and the Spurs, to fight for that spot. Because look at it, you know, Pelicans got a really easy schedule coming up. Seventh easiest, and the Spurs have the third easiest. We have the second easiest. So really, the, the top three easiest schedules, I'm not sure if it's, you know, counting everything or just these out of these teams. But, you know, no, it can't be because seventh. Oh, uh, yeah. So, like, the top three easiest schedules – are literally fighting for a playoff berth as that seventh seed. Um, uh, in my opinion, I think we're probably the best team if we were to pass the Grizzlies, just for the purpose. Yeah, I like Zion. I like Zion as a player. I think he's the future of this league. Uh, I'm not saying like Giannis some of those players, but the future young buck, like, you know, coming out of that draft, you know, into this league. Um, but... You know, um, I don't think – I think that team's too young. I don't think they can fly – go into that spot and take it. Hey, if they do, congratulations, man. Um, uh, the Kings, they're another team that I really feel like um, they are like – I don't know, you know. They have the talent. Can they do it? I think, you know, besides the Blazers, I think they're probably the next best one that could probably take it. Um, Spurs, I think at this point, um, they, they're in rebuild mode and they know it. Um, they're just, I feel like they're, they're like, okay, maybe we can get a playoff. You know, it's, you know, in my opinion, I wouldn't even try to make the playoffs if I was the Spurs. Cause you know, in a way, um, being an eight seed every year, isn't going to get you anywhere. Look at the Pistons for an example. They were an eight seed pretty much every year. They just said, you know, it's not working out. Let's trade Drummond. Obviously got nothing from it, but anyway, you get my point. Um, but that's just one thing I feel about it when it comes to that. But anyway, you know, yeah, I think me or the King or our team or the Kings could probably take it from the Grizzlies because if you really think, I'm not sure what their schedule looking like. I'm not sure if they're going to show the Grizzlies schedule. Uh, but they got the toughest schedule out of everybody here, you know, for the eighth seed. Um, but hey, you know, um, all they have to do is at least lose four games. Yeah, four games to um, be in the be in this battle here with all these other teams. So like, let's see what happens. You know, sleeping on the Blazers' chances here to make the playoffs. I I haven't been sleeping on my. That's the team that I've always thought that was going to sneak into that eight spot. I know that everybody likes the Pelicans in there. Um, that would be a great matchup for the league. That would be so many great yeah. storylines. <laughs> but to me, with that veteran team, it's just it's hard for me to count them out. It's hard, especially with Dame appearing to be close to coming. Yeah, and like also like. Um, 
about this Blazer team, we got a lot of veterans on it. We have, you know, a lot of veterans on this team that actually has been to the playoffs and been in playoff games. Like Melo, he hasn't been in a lot of them in his career, but he's been in them. Like, come on, he's been to the, you know, conference finals with the Nuggets. Um, so, you know, like he knows what a playoff and, hey, you know, you know, obviously we have Damian Lillard. Come on, you know, have you seen last year? We are balling. We just – we literally just – Last year, we just came out of, uh, like, a con- you know, like the conference final exit. We were literally that close. Um, I don't think we would have won if we did anyway. Um, I didn't think we were going to win that series either way. It's the Warriors. What do you expect? Um, we actually did have a chance to win that series, but I'm not going to really talk about it that much. Um, but, you know, we got people like Melo on this team that really could spark up the team. And think about it. If we fall in that eight seed – chances are we're playing the Lakers so who knows if we even if we get out of the first round I was I saw some things based on you know I think it was uh LeBron James calling you like hey you know they got three you know dominant scores you got Damian that could drop 50 a night you got CJ that can drop 40 for like 35 to 44 or 45 points and then you got obviously you know uh, Mello, when he's hot, he can drop like, you know, 30 to 40 or some, sh- you know, like whoever's really hot can really, you know, get it done. And maybe even, I think, you know, we have beat the um, uh, Lakers uh, this season, I think a m- couple times. And I think in a way, like, we're a scary team. I know a lot of peop- people are really underrating us. We've always been underrated, you know, simple as that. Uh, when it comes to the playoffs, no one thought we were going to get as far as we did last year. And hey, who knows? You know, whatever happens this year, I don't think we are. I don't think we're going to get that far, just for the purpose of the team we got. Uh, last year's team, I kind of liked a lot better than this year's team. We had a lot more scores off the bench, a lot of more other stuff we had off the bench. Like the only reason Melo's on the team is because of injuries, and that's one thing that's been hurting us. Nurkic, for an example, he's supposed to be coming back. Hey, you know, maybe he starts heating up in the playoffs, you know, and we obviously got a, you know, a double double machine in Whiteside, um, but yeah, uh, and he's having one of the best years of his career, uh, or seasons of his career. So um, anything can happen. Back from that injury, if they can stay healthy, like, and they have a second easiest schedule down the down the stretch, it, it's hard for me to see them miss the playoffs. Yeah, but between Nurk. Dame and then Zach Collins, who to right. me is yeah. the most important player on this team from an injury standpoint, maybe only because when he went out early in the season, it was like, well, I'm not sure how far. Yeah, look at this team. Look at this team. Like, obviously, you have Dame, CJ, Mel would fly right back in that small forward spot. Uh, Rodney Hood would come off the bench. Zach Collins would be the starter. And then you'd also have Whiteside off the bench because of Nurkic. Like, this team is really good when they're not injured. This team is a scary team if you if they're not injured. Like, come on. Like <laughs> or they can go because of him defensively and rebounding inside. I he to me is as important as either one of those other two getting back in terms of how well they I know how well they can operate on offense and on defense. I don't think that without him they're gonna be able to be a major playoff chance. And so I'm not sleeping on him. I'm just waiting for him to get healthy. You know, I'm, so I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna say like yeah, uh, okay, Zach Collins is important. Like, yeah, but he's not Dave. Not yeah, let's slow down okay. a little bit. I love you though. No, but from a chemistry yeah. standpoint, my point is, yeah. is that from a chemistry standpoint, yeah. they're not getting that far anyway. Yeah. Right. If he doesn't get back. You know, right. sure they might be a better yeah. team by a lot with Dame, yeah. but without Zach, I'm not counting them to go anywhere. Yeah, and offensively he helps. Yeah, and if you look at Zach Collins, you know, in the playoffs last year, like obviously a lot of people didn't really pay attention to it. Paid attention to you know Damian CJ, you know, and the rest, and you know, um, Cantor when we had him, and, and obviously Rodney Hood and stuff like that. Um, but no one really paid attention to Zach Collins. Zach Collins, I like him as a player. You know, uh, I think we got him in that one draft we traded with the Kings. Got him. Uh, he's he's you know developed into a very nice player. I don't feel like he's gonna be any superstar type thing. I feel like he's gonna be a great role player or you know great you know decent s- starter. He can you know shoot the three. He can you know do pretty much a lot of things on this team that we are missing him in the you know and but yeah you know some stretch the floor yeah. from that position. I, I get what you're saying when it comes to that, but. I, I'm in on the Pelicans at this point. Like, 538 has no, them as the good. team that's going to get into the eighth spot. I, I think that they're playing really well since Zion's been back. They went from yep. s- – in the games that he's played, they were the 23rd-ranked defense. Now they're a top-10 defense since, he, since he's been back. We know what he does on the offensive end for them. So I, I just feel like – Yeah, the one thing about the Pelicans, I don't think that – like, 
I think they have a chance. It just matters if that young, like that young team of that team, like I feel like that whole starting lineup is literally 25 or younger, not counting um, Holiday. Uh, I think Derek Favors isn't a starter. You guys can, you know, you know, quote me on that. Um, but you know, it's a really young team. It's kind of like the Denver Nuggets. Like they, they're a good team. They're just young. They're, you know. Um, and they just can't really do anything, you know, in the playoffs because they're just a, they're a dominant regular season team, but they don't have much playoff experience. But now, like you know, you could see them maybe doing something this year because they have a lot of players are still on the team from last year and the year before when they were playoff. You know, you know, were in the playoffs, so they know, you know, we they know and they've been there and they know what they're doing. So. Um, don't don't sleep on the Nuggets. As much as I don't like the Nuggets, because um, they're obviously their rival, don't sleep on them, man. The Pelicans are trending in the right direction, and there are a lot of questions about the Blazers with the help. It's it's if they get. And it, same with the Pelicans. Don't sleep on the Pelicans. Pelicans, you know, they're a good young team, but I I just don't think they're gonna slip into that spot. I, that's just my opinion. And plus, we need to win games. Obviously, <laughs> we can't just you know. You know, keep losing, you know, but you, you guys understand, yeah. Healthy, right? Like, to me, that's the thing. Yeah, like, I I would like to see the Pelicans in that eighth spot, right? I, I think everybody So would everybody like, in this right. league. And, and, and all <laughs> yeah. of the, uh, the, the, the easiest schedule, yeah. the way they've played once Zion's been back. It's just, I, I have this faith in sure. Dame Lillard just because I've, I've seen the man. The work. schedule is a big thing for me for the Pelicans. That team getting it back together with Zion coming the way he is, I think that helps them a lot. It's obvious, but I yeah. think it's real. Yeah, yeah, Dame can drag them there. There's no doubt. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Thanks so much for. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, to end off this video, so it was a really more of a shorter video. This one should be, but it's obviously a little longer because I was talking. But anyway, um, yeah. What's your opinion in the in the um, description? Do you think that Blazers are the team that could slip up there, or do you think okay, yeah, I think the Grizzlies are a team that will just stay there for the rest of the season. I could totally see that. Um, they're a great young team. Jaw, I definitely think is rookie of the year. A lot of people want Zion being that, but I just don't think they are. Um, but yeah, I think they are, you know, you know, a dominant team. Um, but you know, I don't think they can do it. I don't, I just don't think, um, you know, the other teams that are not there, but I think us, uh, I know they didn't really talk about a lot of the other teams that are there. I know they were talking about the Pelicans, but like, I think, you know, the Kings are another team that I, you know, um, my obviously not a big fan of the Kings because I think they are a rival also. But um, I think they're a scary team too. Um, they're just really young. There's a lot of young teams that are, you know, creeping up to the playoffs that could f find that spot. I think we're the better team just because we have experience. We know what, you know, we know we have players that's been in the playoffs. We know, you know. To what to do in the playoffs to get games win like wins so it's like you know uh, uh yeah but that's just my opinion you can put your opinion down in the comments who do you think out of those teams are gonna fill in that eight seed um i think i think it's us or the grizzly staying but uh yeah you guys can put your uh, opinion in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe go check out my uh my twitter i let i let everybody know um when i stream on twitch um, so yeah, um, uh, you know, go check it out. It's the same. My Twitter, my Twitch obviously is the same as my YouTube. It's not that hard to find, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.